everyone. So I don't think a lot of people expected me to actually come back. Um, and I'm here to actually talk about everything that had happened about two months ago between Brandy Renee and I. So if you guys don't know, Brandy Renee 19, you can find her on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, she accused me of sexual harassment to my best friends or my ex best friends and said I was manipulating her with my social media account. Um, and I want everyone to see the text messages between us because no one has come forward, especially her. Um, she had said she deleted all of our messages because she didn't want a reminder of anything that had happened between us. Um, and I'm here to show you guys the conversations. So if you guys look, you can see that she said yes to clapping with me. If you look even higher, I told her I would promote her account. And if you guys don't know, TikTok creators, um, and especially us cosplay friends, we tag each other and, and our, we tag our friends in our stories and say, hey, go follow Tyreek or go follow Taya Miller, go follow this person as a way to promote each other because we're friends, right? I tried to show, I tried to show everybody those conversations between she and I, but they said, no, you were trying to manipulate her and use her for her body. I said, no, I just wanted to collab with someone on OnlyFans. And she said yes to me. And so I went with it and I went with going through with it. And she said yes. And she bought a plane ticket. Let me ask you guys, if a girl was so uncomfortable and felt sexually harassed by me, why would she buy a plane ticket to come see me? I just want, I just want you guys to clarify that for me. If I, if this is an issue that I have, then I, I want people to let me know where I messed up with that. Because she said, yes, she, she got what I was going for. You know, when I said we wanted to collab, uh, we talked about it and she booked a plane ticket to come see me. Um, and that was back in December. Um, she also mentioned that when we were in Florida together in January, that I was ignoring her because I didn't get what I wanted. Um, and I wasn't making videos with her. That wasn't the case because I actually made two videos with her and you guys can look at them. Um, with that said, everyone in that cosplay group says that they had no idea that they weren't involved, that they do not associate with me anymore because of all this, that they are hearing us for the first time. That isn't the case at all either because one of the girls who came up, she was also at my junior college with me and she and I had an encounter and she said that I sexually harassed her as well. Keep in mind that later, after she had accused me to my director, to all of my friends at my college, she came up to me and apologized to me and said that it was a misunderstanding. The reason why I bring this up now is because a year ago, I had told Taya Miller, Midwest Avenger, Jennings Brower, Tommy Dot Nine, Mori Dot Day, I think I said Anubis, uh, Caught J Cosplay, and multiple other cosplay creators in the group about this encounter between she and I. And I think Quiva Morris, Ava Lee, uh, Taylor, I can't remember her username, but th that whole group too, they knew about it. The girl accusing me of that said it was a misunderstanding. And I said, you know, I told myself, like, if this is a problem, then I am going to get up, get on top of it and make sure that this never happens again. I told them that. But if you really think that I am a bad guy and you really think that there is no redemption for me, then you wanna keep everyone accountable, right? They knew for over a year about that encounter, that sexual harassment encounter between she and I. Um, and I thought about getting into that conversation too, but uh, there's so much to unwind. Furthermore, anyone else who has a story about me saying that I sexually harassed them and sexually assaulted them is also untrue. Uh, if anyone else comes forward, tell me, hey, address this person, address that person. I will do it on YouTube. To my best friends who at first sight of hearing all of this didn't give me the benefit of the doubt, didn't even give me a chance to show you the evidence that I had brought forward, didn't give me a a chance at all, 
You guys had already made up your minds when you confronted me about this. And the sad part is I still miss you guys. But I, I don't want to be your friends anymore. No less than you guys want to be friends with me. So I wish you all well. And good luck. I want you all to know that I haven't just been sitting around for the past two months just, you know, waiting for all the hate to die down. Because I know for a fact that hate will never die down. There's always going to be that group of people who do not like me. But I want you all to know that I have been going to church, I have been spending time with family, and I've been going to therapy, self-reflecting on everything that had happened between me, Brandy Renee, and all the people who had come out and uh, accused me of sexual harassment and assault. I've also been accused of being homophobic and racist. So if you think you can keep hurting me, you can't. Because you've already thrown everything you got at me, and I've had friends leave me. And you know what? It hurt. It really did. But I know my truth and I know who I am. And I just wish my friends had given me that benefit of the doubt. And wanted to hear me out before they had already chosen a side. Wanted to see the facts before they had decided. And I went online and I apologized for them. And I apologized to Brandy. And I said that the conversations between Brandy and I are true. And people are wondering if I actually did it. No. I showed you guys the text messages. Brandy said it was consensual too. Parts of it at least. So Brandy, what was consensual and what wasn't? Because you said yes and you booked a plane ticket to come see me. You were going to be in my house in 24 hours and we were going to, and I had also told you that I didn't want to ruin our friendship. I told you that and you said you agreed. So I want to know why you went out of your way to do this. I guess it just doesn't really matter anymore. So. I just hope that you have a good life and you grow with the rest of our our friends or your friends now, not mine. Frankly, I don't want to be their friends either because they didn't even give me a chance. They had already made up their minds when they confronted me. Most of them on the dot blocked me right away. And it just, it just makes me so relieved that I know what kind of people that they are too. So to everybody else watching, um, if you still think that I am a bad guy, keep everybody accountable, right? But if you look at the evidence and look at the conversation between Brandy and I, how much of what everyone is saying is real? I know my truth and I know who I am and I'm going to come back to social media. I'm going to make however many videos that I want because I love to inspire the people and I love to act. That's why I'm coming back. Not for you, not for anybody else who has said a bad thing about me, but I'm going back because I loved it. I loved making videos for people. I love making funny videos, dancing videos, cosplay videos. I love doing all of that. I loved making videos with my friends. And I do miss it. To be honest, I don't even know if I want to come back anymore. I just, I, I have so many bad memories of TikTok now. And so many good ones too with my friends. So yeah, keep everybody accountable. And look at the evidence. And uh, if anything else, goodbye. I don't want to see anyone give me more hate about this anymore. 
If you do, that's fine. I'm just gonna block you. If you don't support me, just unfollow me. If you do support me and look at the evidence and want me to be a better person too, then thank you.